Right now, though, David Tennant's chilling performance was outstanding as real-life serial killer Dennis Nielsen in ITV's Days, one of the most talked about of the year last year. Tonight, well, in another true crime drama, Keith Allen plays a Welsh serial killer in the Pembrokeshire murders. Two of Wales' most baffling crimes. Decades on, these two double murders are being reinvestigated. We think one man did all four murders. John William Cooper. Gossip has put Cooper in the frame for 101 offences. If he did do these murders, he is a serial killer. Cooper's been granted parole. Welcome home, love. Well, Keith Allen joins me now. It's lovely to see you. Boy, I feel you... terrible it, smiling. It... <laughs> No, I know that's true. We're all intrigued by a good murder story, but when it's a true life story, there's a lot of pressure to get it right, isn't there? I mean, you must have felt that a bit. Yeah, I, th I think you've just got to be um, very, very careful. And, and the production as a whole did, and certainly um, the, the director made sure it happened. You've just got to respect the victims more than anything else, you know? So you're right, you have to get it absolutely right. And it was all filmed before this crazy time that we live in now. So all filmed before lockdown. So if people are watching, it was done before you had to be a part and all of these rules had to be in place. Yeah, um, we finished on the Friday night and the lockdown came in on the Monday morning. So wow. we, were, we were really, really lucky, actually. No, very much so. I'm very much so. Now, look, this man... What a strange character, utterly bizarre. I mean, one of the most bizarre things about it, I guess, was he was on, if people will remember, I remember, the game show Bullseye. He was a contestant on Bullseye. It's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, in a way, that just reflects that, um, you know, they walk amongst us. Yeah. Um, anybody is, uh, is potentially a murderer and you would never know it. And to actually go out and what he did in front of maybe 20 million people four weeks before he killed a cop it's uh, mind-blowing really it really yeah. is so for you i mean obviously you've got to read about and find out about him try and somehow get under this man's skin to make it to make it right you know to make it absolutely true and authentic um and you were saying that one of the things you had to do was get the way he spoke once you got that it kind of all came together well, it, it, it made it kind of, you have to look for hooks. You know, I'm going to sound like a boring old actor now, but that's the way it is. Um, the, the, the Pembrokeshire accent, and especially where he's from, it, it's, uh, it, it's, well, Pembroke is known as Little England in Wales. And, and if you listen to people from certain parts of Pembroke, can be included, um, you would think that they were possibly from somewhere in Cornwall or Devon, you know, so it's not an absolutely clear Welsh accent so uh, th that was a bit tricky and in order to get it right i had to go up there and do quite a bit of research you know hang around tenby and uh, pembroke dock and places like that which i did at the weekend but unfortunately well not unfortunately it was uh, full of manx and scousers all watching sky sports so i didn't really get the accent no, but you eventually, yeah, <laughs> you eventually, there, really. eventually, came. <laughs> cracking cast you've got as well. I mean, Luke Evans, of course, um, and he, you know, he's done incredibly well, and he brings such a lot to this as the police officer who, you know, eventually gets his man. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's very handsome. That's all I can say, and I hated being in the same frame as him because it just <laughs> made me look like a an ugly old git, but he was brilliant. I mean, actually, he is brilliant in it. He really is, and totally committed to the part. I mean, he knew about this uh, this um, series happening about two or three years before I did, and uh, it was something that he absolutely made clear that he wanted to do from some time back. And, and like I say, he is brilliant in it. He is indeed. How are you doing through all of this lockdown? Are you doing anything... You know, because you're you feel as if you're supposed to be doing something. You feel as if you should be achieving something. What have you been up to? Um, well, to be honest, Lorraine, I've kind of been in lockdown for the last 30 years. <laughs> you know, I'm an actor. Um, right. And what it did was it energised me, <laughs> you know. Uh, I built a polytunnel. Um, we do a hell of a lot of growing, grew um, a lot of vegetables and plants throughout the summer, did a lot of landscaping. You know, did a lot of painting around the house. Yeah, did, did, did a lot, really. I mean, it sounds privileged and all the rest of it, but I've got a bit of land and uh, 
I have to say lockdown was was a lot easier for me than it is for a hell of a lot of people out there. No, that's true. And actually doing things, even if you've only got a wee tiny garden, gosh, or even a window box, there's a real joy, isn't there, about yeah. growing things. I mean, in our wee garden yeah. yesterday, little snowdrops came up and it just made me feel better. Well, just we had daffodils. Them. Did you? Daffodils already? Yeah. Well, they have obviously flowered, but they're starting to come up. Wow. Yeah. And it just it's that yeah. thing of there's little signs, little signs of new life, and we're all sort of pinning our hopes in just spring. We're getting back to nature, Lorraine. We're getting back to nature. We are a bit. We are a bit. And maybe that's no bad thing. Maybe that's no bad no, thing at really, all. No, it's a really good thing. No, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of anniversaries, aren't there? And, we're, and there's a lot of us that are kind of looking back and in, enjoying, you know, music that we listen to, films that we listen to. Train spotting, of course, one of yours, twenty five years ago. Oh Isn't God. that incredible? Look at that. I know. See, I that? see. I could be in a frame with Luke Evans, looking like that. Yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> I think you're looking very distinguished, very distinguished. You're very kind. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I think you are. Look, you take care of yourself. We're going to be watching The Pembrokeshire Murder starts tonight, doesn't it? Nine o'clock on yeah. ITV. And, you know, it is always better to play, I suppose, the baddies, but sometimes, you know, when it's a real true life one, as you said, you've got to get it right, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, it's great yeah. to talk to Enjoy. you, love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.